Better as a coup, 2017 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF. The sun can kill you. It'll also make you hot and sticky and smelly. It's a real nasty thing to spy, you know, making virtually all life on Earth possible. Now, apparently, despite these risks, there are those who enjoy driving around in their car being slowly baked alive by our local star. It's insanity. Really, and that's not even mentioning the indignities your hair suffers at the merciless force of the wind. So convertibles, then, who needs it? Just take the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Wonderful little car, barrels of fun, but would they be better off with 100% less sun? Besides keeping your dermatologist out of business, a solid roof would also lead to less wind noise, greater structural rigidity and better safety for the vampire population. Nothing but W's on the board. Alas, the 2017 Mazda MX-5 Miata RF is not the ideal solution to this perfectly sane line of reasoning. It is not the BMW M Coupe or Porsche Cayman of Miatas. It's more like the 911 Targa of Miatas, although since its rear window lowers, the most accurate analogy would be the Honda Civic Del Sol of Miatas feel free to put that on a billboard. All of this origami can take place at up to 6 miles per hour apparently, and completely seriously, it could be accomplished at higher speeds, but there was concern that anything higher than 6 miles per hour would increase the chances of flowing hair being caught in the wind and snagging within the root mechanisms. As if the sun wasn't bad enough. However, if you allow me to remove tongue from cheek for a moment, Retracting the roof does cause a legitimate and significant drawback. Wind noise and buffeting become tiresome at only around 45 miles per hour, even with the side windows raised. Roll them down and you get more air, but the same amount of buffeting from the buttresses and crossbar remains. Needless to say, 45 isn't exactly fast. It's also, perhaps not coincidentally, roughly the speed at which a Porsche 911 Targa's windshield diffuser starts to quell the same sort of buffeting experienced in the comparably roofed RF. But, without such a gizmo on board, the RF's roof went back up after gutting out the noise for 20 miles or so. At a certain point, one grows tired of shouting at the person sitting a few finger widths away. And at that same point it becomes evident that the RF is more appealing as a coupe. Not only is it obviously quieter with the roof in place, but it's also quieter than the regular Miata's fully retractable fabric roof. Other compromises aren't as worrisome. There's only a minuscule change to trunk space, good news, there wasn't much to lose, and only a 113 pound weight penalty that comes with those metal panels and power mechanisms. That's really not that big of a deal, especially when there are dynamic improvements. Engineers retuned the suspension slightly, both to counter that extra weight and to address the regular Miata's tendency to land on its bump stops when pushed hard. It was something Fiat's engineers massaged out of the 124 Spider, and now with changes to the rear bump stops and one rear bushing, the RF makes it easier for the driver to balance the car at the limit. The steering was also given a little extra effort and a bit of slack on center, but it's not such an obvious change that we noticed. And really, unless you drive the snot out of both cars back to back, it seems unlikely that you'll be able to tell the RF and regular convertible Miata apart. That's a very good thing. Both are blessed with the same divine throttle response and six-speed manual transmission, the little 2.0-liter engine that's equal parts energetic and efficient, and that quintessentially nimble and playful nature. It's a Miata through and through. However, it's also a more expensive one. For starters, it can only be heading club and grand touring trim levels, there's no base sport. 
It also demands a $2,755 price premium over a similarly equipped Miata Softtop, meaning the cheapest RF starts at $31,555 versus the most basic Miata at $24,915. The comparable Miata Club Softtop starts at $28,800. There aren't any feature content differences apart from an upgraded instrument cluster display, the power-op operated top, and exclusively optional machine grey paint and tan leather.